Hi guys. Um, so today I thought I'd share my night routine with Yi. I know I haven't uploaded like a non-vlog video in a while, but if you watch my previous vlog, you know that I have like a lot of family stuff going on. So most of the time I'm not really in the mood to make videos. I just, I don't know, I've just been feeling really not so good lately. But anyways, today I just thought I would just make a video and kind of get back into the swing of things. And I was about to wash my face, so I was like, I might as well just do a night routine video and a bit of a like a skin update as well. So this is what I'm going to be using to wash my face. It's the Nivea Daily Essentials Refreshing Facial Wash. Facial Wash Gel. This is it. And you can get this from, I get mine from Superdrug, but I'm pretty sure like Boots have it as well. It's just Superdrug is usually cheaper than Boots. So that's what I'm going to be washing my face with. And this is what I'm going to be taking off my eye makeup with. So Mary Kay oil-free eye makeup remover um normally i wouldn't like i don't use this every day but that's because i don't wear eye makeup every day but seeing as i'm wearing eye makeup today i'm gonna be using this So now that all of my, well, normally I'd like do my eyebrow. Look at that, guys. This stage with me. I have black all over my face. I'm pretty sure it's gonna come off anyway. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and wash my face with this. I need to take a tiny bit, like that much. On days where I'm wearing foundation, I usually like to do two washes just to make sure that everything is off. So now I just dab my face dry with a little face cloth. So this is my skin guys, um, it's after improving a lot like my acne was really really bad, well not really really bad before but in comparison to this my skin is just in such good condition compared to what it was before. Um, I think I have some pictures, I'll insert pictures here and um, my biggest problem area would be like my cheeks. And my chin area, I'm not sure if you can see, but like I have a lot of pigmentation there because um, I have, what do you call it, polycystic ovarian syndrome. So my acne is like mostly around that area for me anyway. And then I have like hair chasm as well in that area. So it just makes everything 10 times worse. Um, if you don't know what that is, I'll like leave info and stuff in the description box below. But yeah, this area is much improved given my situation. And um, I also have noticed improvement of like my hyperpigmentation as I discussed in a previous video. I'll link that here or in the description, well not or and in the, descri in the description box. Uh, I can't talk. I talked about a uh, oat mask thing that I was trying out with all natural ingredients. It was, I think, oats, lemon juice, yogurt and something else um, but yeah you can go ahead and watch that if you haven't seen it and literally guys like trust me it works I saw improvements in say about three or four days obviously it wasn't a hundred percent improvement but I definitely noticed differences in my skin now it wasn't a situation where my whole face was lighter but there was dark spots maybe from like um, acne or you know pimples whatever just dark patches on my face that did get lighter and you know my whole face in general is brighter than it was before so um, yeah that treatment is a definite thumbs up anyways 
enough about that. I use this cream for my spots and problem areas. It's called Duac Once Daily. This is prescription only guys. So if um, you do want to, you know, use something of a higher strength that would require you having to go to a doctor and stuff, I would recommend asking for this. It really works for me. Um, and it does, you know, kind of dry your skin out a bit, but sure that's what moisturizer is for. So I just go ahead and apply this onto my problem areas. I don't really have many spots at the moment, but just to keep them away, I have one here. One is trying to come up here. And then also I have this cream, again, prescription only. This is for my heritism, which I have because of my polycystic ovarian syndrome. Um, and then I use a bit of this twice a day. And it's really just to discourage like hair growth and stuff. So, I mean, I don't think you need to have polycystic ovarian syndrome even to have facial hair. Everybody has facial hair whether you want to admit it or not. It's something that a lot of women deal with, so I don't even care the fact that I'm telling you this, but yeah. If I can help anyone, I'd be more than happy to do that. Anyways, this is what I use as my moisturizer, guys, coconut oil, and it has just been, I don't even know how to describe it. It's the best thing ever. I have oily skin naturally, like really, really oily skin. But since I started using coconut oil, it's improved so much. Like normally I need to powder my face literally like five times a day. But now I only need to do that once, if at all. Like I don't even need to do it, but I just do it anyway, you know, to be anal or whatever. Um, but yeah, coconut oil is amazing for oily skin because it moisturizes so well it locks in the moisture but it doesn't make your skin greasy that's what i use on my body as well and i found it to be amazing um so yeah that's pretty much it guys on days where i'm not using this i because this only as it says to be used once daily it's recommended to be used at night time because it contains chemicals that like shouldn't really interact with sunlight and stuff it can damage your skin um so i use savlon on my spot area just so you know keep everything clean and you know kill the bacteria and whatnot that may irritate that area with regards to my skin and the hyperpigmentation and stuff i found that sun cream is now my best friend like even though like obviously because I'm black and stuff doesn't mean that you don't need to protect your skin from the sun and what I was experiencing before I noticed was a lot of sun damage because I used to have SPF in my old moisturizer and in my foundation but then I stopped wearing foundation for a while and I stopped using that moisturizer so literally I had like not protecting my skin I was using freaking oil with no protection whatsoever so I was just cooking my skin basically. So now I use um, a Nivea Factor 50 um, sunscreen every morning like after I shower and stuff. I just mix that in with coconut oil and that is a trick to get rid of the blue tint thing that it does to your skin. Yeah, mix your sunscreen with a bit of oil and that solves that problem. So yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.